We are here at the Camus booth here at the Miami International Boat Show 2023 and right behind me here is their brand new 34 foot catamaran. Now we are going to be doing a quick walkthrough video of this catamaran for you guys and what makes this catamaran so special is the first ever catamaran that Camus has ever built. Without further ado, let's hop aboard this boat. So as we walk onto this boat today, it is a catamaran with a 10-10 beam here. So you can tell there's gonna be tons of fishing area and you can see we are powered by dual Mercury Verado 400 V10s. We're gonna be switching things up today a little bit and we are going to be starting off here at the middle of the boat or midship. We're gonna be starting at the helm station, looking at the back of the boat and then we will work our way up to the front. So here is the helm station that we are working with. You can see beautifully lit up display of all your buttons powered by two big old Raymarine screens here. We got all the Mercury controls and you might notice this little teak finish over here. We also have that here on the seats. We have the teak uh, armrest over here. Adds a very nice flash to the finish. Just shows how good a quality the boat really is. I do want to show you guys how far back this windshield goes. You can see I stick my hand all the way. I'm just about halfway here. So if you want to take your sweatshirts or anything like that on the cold days, toss them, throw them up in the front. You won't have to worry about them blowing away or anything. And we know if you watched all my videos or my other boat walkthrough videos, one of my pet peeves is not having a spot for your phone. You know, if they don't have a spot for my phone, it annoys me on the boats. So you can see up here on the dashboard of the KMS 34, they include this little cutout here here of this like kind of like a, a padded turf material and they put a cut out here for your phone your wallet your keys whatever you want so canvas great job including that feature on here so when you own a catamaran it's a little bit different the way it's going to be set up compared to a v-hole meaning you're going to be sacrificing some things in the boat and you're going to be getting more with other aspects so like right below me right here we have a big fish hatches and we'll show you later there are tons of fish hatches that run along this boat so there's plenty of storage for all the fish that you catch but something you're going to sacrifice a little bit is the head because of the way the hole is built in the middle it's going to be shallower so there's not as much room for a cabin so we're going to hop on the cabin over here so you can see i'm just on my knees here if i stand up yep there we go it's pretty much as much as you get you're not going to be able to stand up but they did include a head on here which is still nice in case you need to use it but there's going to be really no storage underneath because basically right underneath this is this is hollow basically right underneath me here but they did include a little bit of storage on the wall over here. You can see we can open up these drawers and there's tons of storage all along this wall. So we are going to close this cabin door up just like that. And we're gonna work our way to the back of the boat. So one thing that I really look for with the boats that I do the walk around videos of is gonna be the fishability of the boat. And KMS has always hit the nail on the head when it comes to fishability. So I wanna start off by pointing out this cooler over here. On the other side, right over here, we have a switch, you press it, and you know, it's gonna automatically come right out. You'll see, just like that. Now the cooler is all the way out. So not only can you open this up and get everything you want out of the cooler very easily, but, you get the best of both worlds because you have a full on tackle station, which we'll dive a little bit more into, but you also get rear facing seating. So that way, when you have your lines trolling out the back you can still sit here, you can watch your lines and keep an eye on it. Also additional seating just for extra guests on the boat. But having this option of it pulling out is an absolutely great option. I've only seen it on a few boats, so I'm very happy to see it that they put this option on the Caymans. So in this tackle station, we have two main drawers here. You can take a look. We have a knife holder along with some additional storage for all your fishing lures. Maybe you'll throw your leader in there. Maybe you'll throw some pliers and all that kind of good stuff put right into these drawers. And in addition, we also have a sliding out cutting board. So you can use this cutting board right here for bait if you want to chop it up right over here nice and conveniently. But maybe you're not fishing and maybe you're just on the sandbar with some friends of the day. I'd make a sandwich right on top of this cutting board if I had to. Um, it's a great option and uh, doesn't take up a lot of space. So it's very nice, nicely hidden away there. 
So the backrest here that was used for a sitting down backrest as a rear facing seat could also double just as a standing backrest. So you could stand here and you just lean against it to watch your poles if you don't wanna to have to slide out the cooler to sit down on it. So of course we have tons of pole holders as well. We have one, two, three, four, five pole holders and five cup holders here as well. And if you look up top, we have two and then one two three four five pull holders so you have even more rod storage and we'll show you as we go around there's more rod holders around the boats just like my 35k miss review that i did or 34 which is right over there that one has tons of pull holders this boat has as well so you can see this is kind of cut out to be like a little bit of a step here so if we take a look at the t-top you can see it is cut out right here you can unlatch this and slide it open so this boat it actually has the option of putting a tower onto it so this one doesn't have this is actually hole number one so this is the first ever that they made of this 34 camus but it doesn't have a tower on it but it is an option and this is how you would access it you would stand probably on top of the cooler here and then you just climb your way up go right through the hatch on the top so let's say you're going scuba diving here on your beautiful 34 foot Camus. With ease, you can have your equipment on, hop up here, you got a step, come on down and you can jump right off the back of the boat, right into the water. With the motors being so far apart, it's perfect to have this nice little platform to hop right off. Now in addition to the back over here, like I said, we have a nice step down here, so that way you don't have to reach over and it's not difficult to get back here. We have five rod holders right here. We take a look. We have a live bait well, if you want to get a shot right inside here. Huge live bait well, and it has a beautiful Camus logo engraved on the top. Take a look back here, we have more storage well. Now these are also insulated as well, so we have an insulated storage well over here, and another one identical on the starboard side of the boat. So we're gonna hop right back over. And in addition, we have a forward-facing rear seat that we will open up for you here. Just like so. Not too bad. If you guys know, I always complain about these seats being very difficult to open. This one, not too bad. And we'll test it out. And of course, it is a very comfortable seat and uh, definitely a nice feature to have if you're gonna have a lot of guests on your boat. Now, it is nice that it does fold away like so because when it is in this position, you don't have to worry about getting any hooks or anything like that stuck into your seat. You have to worry about it on the headpiece or the backrest over here, but you don't have to worry about it on the main seat. So let's take a look at some of the storage capability on this 34 foot Camus. We will take this hatch and we'll open this one up first. Huge, huge fish well right here. You can see there is plenty of room in here for you to store all your fish. And we also have an identical hatch on the port side of the boat as well. We're gonna close this on up with ease, just like so. And open up the hatch that we are currently kneeling on right over here. Now this is going to be our bilge access. Now one thing you guys might have seen on my other boat walkthroughs and come on over here and take a look. You can see that we have some storage cutout over here which is removable but they have the cutout for the five gallon buckets. So what you could do is take your five gallon buckets and you can load them up with maybe you want to do like deep drop weights or something heavy like that or maybe you just keep all your fishing equipment into buckets Whatever you guys do, you could take it, maybe cleaning supplies, that's probably personally what I would use it for. Anyway, you take the plastic buckets, you drop them in, you don't have to worry about them sliding around, and you could fit two five gallon buckets in here. And we will take this out, because like I said, it is removable. Take it out just like so, and we will show you the bilge area. Now, like I always say, a bilge area of a boat is a testament to its build quality, and Camus definitely did not skimp on that. We could see over here, this is a very clean bilge area, very neat and organized. It doesn't look like they skimped out at all on it in here. And it is really nice how accessible everything is in here for when you have to do some maintenance, maybe replace a bilge pump or anything like that. Okay. That's what started. Now because this is a catamaran, this is one of the holes right here. So this is the bilge for the one. My dad is standing right now on the second one that's on the port side of the boat. 
So when you think about a catamaran, it's pretty much symmetrical. So what you're getting on the left side of the boat is what you're getting on the right. So if you see me doing a fish box on the starboard side of the boat, there's gonna be the same exact fish box on the port side of the boat as well. Now pretty much standard with most boats nowadays, but we have the tuna door or whatever you'd like to call it, scuba tuna, <laughs> however you want to call it, there's their door. And it looks like you're going to have an attachment maybe for a ladder to hang right over the side. That way, when you pull up at the sandbar, you can throw it over, hop right into the water. On the port side of the boat over here, we have our raw water right there. And if we take a look on the starboard side of the boat, we have our fresh water along with some storage for you to put your boat brushes or boat poles or gaffs or anything like that. Just gonna pause this video really quickly on you guys. If you are watching this video, I'm assuming you have a boat or you're looking for a boat or at least you're just interested in the general marine boating industry. And that's why I'm here to talk to you guys really quickly today about my newest and first channel sponsor, which is Boatbox. Now I'm so excited about this partnership with Boatbox because these are people that generally care about your well-being and just trying to help you stay out on the water for longer with less hassle. So Boatbox is a company you can see right here in the background. We have their website joinboatbox.com up and on this website they have a 24 7 free helpline so you can access this helpline 24 7 so you can message them in this chat and you can also talk on the phone with them like i said a 24 7 helpline that is 100 free i don't know who else in the industry is doing this but if you have any questions about um service for your boats or you're having trouble at the boat ramp or anything along those lines you can go on to their 24 7 helpline and you can ask them all the questions that you have like i said 100 free and also on their website they have a bunch of different products including like their boat soap and boat cleaning products which i've been using for the past year and i absolutely love them all and the best part is is that if you like any of their products because they don't just have boat soaps on their uh, website they have a whole bunch of different stuff including dock lines bumpers and all that kind of stuff as well if you use my code live in salty you will get 25 percent off at checkout absolutely awesome you guys should definitely take advantage of that if you guys could do me a favor then go over to their website joinboatbox.com check out all the stuff they have create an account like i said it's 100 free they're just going to ask for some information about what boat you have the kind of boating and stuff that you do and that's just to be able to give you the best advice possible when you're asking them questions so head on over to joinboatbox.com today sign up make your free account and go help support a company that is supporting me as well it would be greatly appreciated appreciated. Like I said, this is my first ever channel sponsor and I am so happy about it and so thrilled and so appreciative of everything they've done for me. Thank you guys so much for listening and let's head back over to the 34 canvas. On the port side of the boat over here, we can open up this little latch and you can see we have a fire extinguisher in here. Now we have the same cabinet here on the starboard side of the boat as well. These kind of areas are perfect to put your first aid kits or any other medical supplies you might need. That way you have all that kind of stuff in one area. I would put your flares, maybe a map if you keep a dry map on, the, on board, all that kind of safety equipment I would put with the fire extinguisher. That way it's nice and accessible and all together in one spot so you're not looking around the boat for a band-aid or something like that. We will work our way up to one of the biggest fish hatches on this boat. This is ginormous. Take a look at how big this fish hatch is. And just to show you, of course, we are gonna hop in, and see just how big this is. I mean, you can fit a bunch of me in here. Head to toe, I can fit, I am five, wow, okay. I'm five foot ten. if you guys remember me saying that in all my boat show videos, it feels good to say it again here at the Miami show. I can fit head to toe in here. So this is a huge fish box. Now I'm gonna hop out of here. Unbelievable how much ice you can be able to put into here along with tons and tons of fish. More fish than we will probably ever catch. And in addition, you have this same exact fish box on the starboard side of the boat. Hop on out of there. You can close up the hatch. And just to give you guys your bearings over here, this is our cabin door right here that we showed you before with the head and everything inside. So if we keep making our way to the bow of the boat over here. You can check out, we have another fish hatch. Now this one is not going to be as big, unfortunately, but it is still a pretty decent uh, size hatch. Fit plenty of fish in it, like I said, 
chance of you ever loading up all these hatches with fish, very unlikely. But one very cool thing about all these hatches, this one, the one that we just showed you before, all these are insulated hatches. So what that means is that you can use this stuff for dry storage if you'd like, but it's also great for the fish boxes. It'll keep your ice for even longer, keep your fish for cold. That way, if you're going on longer trips to maybe the Bahamas or whatever you're gonna be doing, um, you can put your ice in here and you ha won't have to worry about it melting very quickly when you go on these trips. So while we are down here on the uh, port side and the starboard side of the boat as well, we have more spots for you to put some um, boat brushes, boat poles or anything like that. I think this side of the boat will be better for the gaffs. You have a little bit longer of an area over here, a little bit more out of the way. You won't have to worry about getting your leg caught on that gaff. So one of my favorite things about this boat definitely has to be the coffin style box. Technically not a coffin box because coffin box means it's detached from the console, but it's the same kind of style and we can show you right here. We can open this up. They have a bunch of stuff in it for the show right now, but this is an insulated box as well. Now with the other fish boxes in the ground, I don't see you ever needing to fill up that and this with more and more fish, but I would probably use this as storage like they have here because there isn't a ton of storage in the cabin. We'll close this on up. In addition, you get some rod holder storage. You got two, on, oh, sorry, three on this side, three on the other, one cup holder, one cup holder, a beautiful lounge sheet here, which we will try out, of course, which is very comfortable. And in addition, get some armrest on both sides. Very comfortable seat if you're gonna be running offshore for a while. So one of my favorite features on any boats, and especially the Camus boats, I noticed it on their 34 as well, is how they tuck away these front seats here to make more room for fishability. So when it is a hardcore fishing day, you can come over here, lean against the railing, fish off the bow, do what you gotta do. Seats are completely out of the way. I hate climbing on top of seats to throw casting nets and everything like that. But you can also come over here and a little bit difficult to open this one actually compared to the back seat, but can open this seat on up. Now, if we're cruising or having more people on the boat, have this nice seat here in the front, but I just love the fact that it folds away completely out of the way when you don't need it. Very easy to fold out when you do need it. And then in addition, they pointed out to me, we actually have a lot of storage over here. You can see I put my hand back, goes pretty much to my shoulders. This is an excellent spot if you have uh, dock lines and stuff, you wanna to toss, get it out of the way, but still accessible. This is a great area to do it. If you have people sitting in this forward areas, like I said, put your phone, portable chargers, wallets, keys, anything like that. You can fit in this little cuddy right here very nicely. So finally, we made it up here in the bow of the boat. And if we take a look, we have two compartments over here Come on over here. Now these are not insulated boxes, but they are very big boxes that you can use for any kind of storage. I would probably put the bumpers and that kind of stuff in this compartment here. We can close that on up. Like I said, this is the starboard side. We have an identical one here on the port side. We got the uh, cleats that come up and down here as well. A bunch of rod holders. This is actually a rod holder cup holder over here. We got rod holder cup holders going all up and down. The side gunnels over here. If we take a look. We'll hop up here. This is the anchor well over here. So we'll open up the anchor hatch here and you can see tucked away, we have the windlass, we have some dock lines and everything. And then back, way back that way, we have the switch for the windlass. So that way you can operate it up here by yourself. Now, this boat is very popular right now because of how new it is. So we are not gonna do a complete rod holder count because we would have to be pushing everybody out of the way and it's way too many people so you can just go ahead and trust me if we had to put an estimate how many daddy how many rod holders do you think we're saying three six five it's 11 12 13 14 15 16 17. i would probably put the number number probably around 40 just like the 34 camus gotta say there's gonna be around 40 rod holders like I said, you can add a tower on top of this boat as well. You can get even more rod holders. So we're gonna take a look at the information sheet, tell you guys just how much money this 34 foot catamaran Camus is going to cost you. And we're wrapping things up here. So we're gonna hop off of this beautiful boat here, walk on down and check out the spec sheet right here. And we'll show you, here's everything on here. If you wanna pause the video and check out what this actually has, I'm covering up the price, the grand reveal. This 34K miss can be yours for $547,000.
Now, in retrospect, comparing to a lot of other boat brands, you are getting a lot of boat for your money here with the 34-foot Camus catamaran. I am very excited to be seeing more of this catamaran here in the future and at future boat shows. I absolutely love it. Congratulations, Camus, on your very first catamaran. You guys made an absolutely beautiful boat yet again. Shout out to my dad here, Living Salty Senior. You guys know him from all the videos. He's gonna be behind the camera here at all the Miami boat show videos you guys are seeing. So make sure you guys give him a shout out in the comments. Very much appreciate all of his camera work. But we're gonna be wrapping up this episode here at the Miami International Boat Show. My my name is Ryan from Living Salty. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys did enjoy this boat walkthrough, make sure you guys check out this one over here on the left side of the screen. And until my next video, remember to keep living salty.